Capricorns, welcome to your love reading for December 2019. Keep in mind this is a general reading. If it does resonate, consider a personal reading. My email is below. Just send me an email and we can make that happen. Otherwise, let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Capricorns for love December 2019? What do you see? What do they need to know to help them reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe and closer to the divine? For their greater good any messages you have would be greatly appreciated for capricorn love december 2019 what do you see what do they need to know what are the love energies that capricorn passed out of prior to december we have the king of wands and the upright um i'll also be leaving a vimeo link below for what your love interest is thinking whether it's a crush a current an ex a soon to be ex and usually it ends up being the person from this reading but I have no control over that either. Okay, love energies for December. We have the two of swords in reverse. Okay, make sure you put in requests for the by 2020 sun moon readings. I'm doing those by requests in the comments while you're waiting for them to be uploaded. Check out your 2019 sun moon readings. Those are in my playlist. Energies as you move out of December is the wheel of fortune in the upright. I'm also on the Instant Go app if you need an answer to a question. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Insta. Please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and or donating in the link below in appreciation of my efforts. Okay. Um, okay, so we start off with the King of Wands here in the upright. I'm feeling like this is an energy. I feel like this is a person. Somebody very fiery, but in a mature way. Somebody on the more mature aspect. This this is a person who is a born leader. They inspire people. They empower you. You are drawn to them. You had a very, very passionate connection to this person. The sexual chemistry that you had with this person was off the Richter. This person was very powerful. It was very hard for you to say no to this person. Um, usually whatever they commanded or whatever they wanted done, it was really hard for you to say no. You were very drawn to their energy. Um, I'm kind of seeing that and that's prior to December okay we get into December and I'm seeing you all feeling like this you need to make a decision in regards to this and the two decisions are neither which of one of what you want to do okay you understand that you're wildly drawn to this person you guys have this chemistry it's wonderful but I think there's an underlying feeling to you that you know that either way this thing goes it's probably not going to end well so that's leading you to a decision and either decision you're going to make you don't like how it's going to end um a two of swords for me is really struggling over what kind of decision you're going to make and knowing that either of the consequences associated with that decision is not something that you want to do so you're kind of stuck and you don't know which way to go which way to decide um knowing that you will need to decide in december what you're going to do in regards to this situation this one of the reasons and and also you just might your mind might be in overload just thinking about all the aspects of this relationship and it's just causing more mental confusion for you in regards to which way to decide but again it's almost like you know you need to decide something and however it's decided it's not something you're going to relish um as you move out of december it looks like things turn around. I'm not sure if it's necessarily in regards to this relationship. It could be that you make the decision to end it or no longer see this person or whatever you do end up deciding. I feel like the minute you decide doing so, things end up turning around. They turn around for the better. Your situation immediately improves. The luck around you is incredible. So despite the energy you have with this person, I think you feel that they're bogging down your life in some sort of way, your quality of life, how you look at things. And I feel like once you kind of make the decision to release them or um, no longer be attached to them is when things are going to significantly improve um, as seen with the Wheel of Fortune. You just don't know that because that hasn't happened yet. Now, we'll see what the clarifiers have to say, if they will clarify what my original feeling is in regards to the story. Why is this King of Wands here in the upright for Capricorn's energies prior to December? Who is this person with this energy? Additional messages for the King of Wands in the upright. Who is this person? What is this energy for Capricorns? Additional messages, please. Five of Swords in reverse. The High Priestess in reverse. The Queen of Wands in reverse. Huh. 
Okay, I do feel for some of you, and this is where I don't think that you're the only person in this King of Wands' sphere, okay? And this doesn't have to be a male, it could be a female. Um, I think there are other people. I think there are people that you don't know about. I think there is at least one person. If it's not a person, there are certain aspects of this person that they lock away from you and don't tell you about. They keep secrets from you. There are things they don't tell you and you sense that and you are not comfortable with that. Um, it affects you because I see the Queen of Wands here in reverse. So either it makes you a little bit angry and resentful that they're doing this or it kind of makes you feel lesser than because they're not talking to you or they're hiding certain aspects of their life from you. Um, and they're doing it because they don't they're avoiding having a conflict with you. So there are certain aspects of their life. I feel like this person compartmentalized. They compartmentalized. So they locked away certain aspects of their life. They only kind of showed you the things that you thought that you could handle. Um, and this could be other people that they're seeing or it could be things that they have going on with them internally that they don't think they can that you can handle or things that they just don't want to reveal to you. Um, and... Uh, something else I'm feeling with this is that your intuition was blocked to this because the, the high priestess is about blocking your intuition but, but let me explain rather than using the textbook term I feel like um, you yourself intuitively you know that there's something going on with this person internally but there's this side to you that says I'm not going to go there so you actually kind of shut down your intuition and your spidey sense because you get the feeling from them there's just some places that they're not going to go and I feel like you feel like in order for this relationship to survive to have life to have longevity it's kind of necessary that that's their sh their sharing and there aren't secrets between the two of you and I think um that's what brings you to this point with the two of swords in reverse where you kind of have to decide what are you going to kind of do with this because how it exists at the present time it is not going to be able to continue it's not going to work for you and it's not going to work in the long term for either of you so you're being put in the position where you're going to have to do the action. Okay, why is the Two of Swords here? Now, for some of you, because I see the High Priestess here and the Two of Swords, there might be some dishonesty. If you're sensing that there's dishonesty, um, it's timely that you look into it, that you research what you're feeling might be going on, because there might be something going on. Why is the two of swords here in reverse for Capricorns? Love for December. Who is this person? What is this energy? The king of cups in reverse. The hanged man in the upright. Alrighty. And, and in factoring this decision, there's a lot of things that are feeding into it. This is what's making it so hard for you. For one thing, you can't seem to get a cap on your emotions, okay? There's a lot of confusions regarding your emotions. You're uncertain. And part of the reason why you're uncertain about this is because um, you don't know what's going on with this person. I feel like you don't get the whole picture with this person. I feel like you know them on such a surface level or maybe a little bit below the surface, but you don't know them as deeply as you would like to know them. And this leaves you confused and this leaves you not knowing what to do with your emotions or how to proceed with your emotions. That uncertainty is not comfortable for you. So with the hanged man in reverse, and we have the two of swords here again, indicating this is a really difficult decision for you you're struggling with. Um, and, and you just do not think there is a right answer, but you must choose, okay? Now the hanged man in reverse is telling me that you're not gonna you're not gonna wait around in this situation, okay? That's something that you have decided for yourself. That's one of the decisions that you have decided. You're not going to wait around and kind of see how this is going to play out. You're not going to continue to sacrifice yourself, your wants, your needs, or compromise anymore in regards to what you would like this relationship to be. I think you're finding out in December that what you would like this relationship to be or how you were hoping that it was going to be is not a reality. Um, so I do get the sense that you do let go or you do some kind of action and right after you do that action is when your life significantly turns around because we have the Wheel of Fortune here in the upright. So for those of you that are kind of having and hawing, I think it calls on you to proceed with something, to proceed with an action. And once you kind of like, like just buckle down and do that, then things will really kind of open up for you in many areas of your life. 
Why is the Wheel of Fortune here in the upright? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages for the Wheel of Fortune in the upright. Okay, for some of you, you actually end up moving out. You end up deciding you're no longer going to have a commitment with this person, association with this person. You no longer want to de be dependent on them financially, with their feeling, um, because you were prior to this. It just wasn't a very, until so you end it. It's a painful ending, okay? Trust me, you're not going to like it. You're not going to want to end it. I get it. But th they're telling you, again, things will turn around for you significantly if you do so. And I mean, I'm not telling you what to do. Obviously, you have your free will. But we do have this Four of Wands in reverse indicating to me that, um, you know, as you move forward, the general environment that you're in in this relationship is not comfortable. You don't feel stable. You don't feel okay. Um, if you don't feel it okay in something, you usually want to move out of it if it's unstable. If, you know, it's not vibing, if you're feeling tension. Um, and this Nine of Pentacles is here saying you're way too reliant on this person, either spiritually, mentally, practically, or what have you. It's almost like at what they do, um, you depend on kind of what they do and what actions they're going to take. And this is setting you back in your own journey. So the Ten of Swords shows this ending. Um, and I believe you're the one that initiates this. The Wheel of Fortune is the end of the cycle, and so is the Ten. We have two Tens here, meaning that this is going to be the end of the cycle after December. It isn't going to be pleasant. It's going to be very sudden. It could be painful. At the end, you could absolutely feel at your darkest, darkest days at the end of this. But they are letting you know that once you kind of buckle down and do this, things are going to change. They are going to turn around. And I do think they're going to turn around on a personal level. Um, it's just really acknowledging and, and really facing reality of where this is going and then taking action in regards to it for yourself, as painful as it's going to be. Okay? So that's what I have for you. If this resonates, consider a personal reading. Send me an email. Make sure you click on the link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling, whether it's a crush, current, ex, soon-to-be ex, or this person. Submit your request for your 2020 sun moon readings. Check out my 2019 sun moon readings in my playlist. Uh, ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Insta and Facebook. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate with the link I provided below. I'd really appreciate that. Otherwise, adios from Veronica Garnet. Bye.